Many of these families discovered the fate of their homes by looking at pictures and videos circulating around social media, including the wards. This was a home that they were supposed to spend the rest of their lives in as newlyweds, now in shambles. Well, coming up here, I saw a sign that read, don't be afraid to fail be afraid not to try. So that's exactly what we're going to do. The body was found in a downtown Fresno Canal. Good afternoon. I'm Gabe Salazar. A, a seven year old boy has died in that early morning house fire and a family of five is now without a home after losing their loved one. Not only is this the first location here in the Central Valley, but it's the first location with a double kitchen and a double drive through. Cal Fire crews are working to contain the Agua fire that's now destroyed two homes and the search is on for a man who broke into a pizza the shop and got away with cash registers. Take a look at this. So we are going to be having a fiesta all day and a siesta all night. Megan, the Fresno County Sheriff's Office says this all started with a police pursuit of a known felon in. So authorities were saying that it went through this curb. You can see it knocked over a sign right here. Even it's one of its rim lying on the front lawn of this business here. Uh, eventually coming over this way, splitting this tree in half turning the top half over and you can see if you take a look that way the car ran into that power pole several power lines right now are laying on the roadway you can see just over in the distance unheard of temperatures and drought conditions are generating devastating wildfires and Chris Van Cleef is in Dallas now where it's expected to be close to 100 yep I am definitely airborne here so just to show you just if I can do it anyone can if if I can't then probably you can too Fresno police say this appears to be an Airbnb party gone wrong. If you take a look behind me, you can see that this truck was actually hit by one of the bullets. Continued effort to save over 500 of these giant sequoias here in the Mariposa Grove, some of which are over 2,000 years old and towering over 100 feet tall. Welcome back and good evening. I'm Gabe Salazar. Well, as we close out the work week, we're not going to be dipping into the triple digit heat just yet, but it will be a toasty segue into next week. So when life gives you lemons, you grab the tequila and salt. So you guys are also <laughs> featured. Um, well, we have Kelly Brienne who, here, who is the owner of Aerial Space. So tell us more about the business and what Aerial Sling is. Love the outfit. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's all that matters, right, is how you look. <laughs> versus how you actually perform in, in some circumstances. But.